Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to be discussing the concept of climate and more specifically how distance from the ocean affects climate. Before we continue, let's just remind ourselves of the definition of climate as well as the five factors that influence it on a global scale. Climate refers to the general atmospheric conditions over an area over a long period of time, typically 30 years or more. The five factors that influence climate are latitude, ocean currents, distance from the ocean, altitude, and relief. As I said, in this video, we are going to be discussing distance from the ocean, also known as continentality. Continentality, or distance from the ocean, very simply means how far a place is from the nearest coastline or the nearest ocean. This distance has a great effect on the climates of both inland and coastal regions because of the moderating effects of oceans on coastal temperatures. Place A on this model of the Earth and of southern Africa in particular will have a much different climate to place B because place B is closer to the coast. To understand why this is, we need to first understand the differing ways in which water and land heat. During the day, insulation from the sun travels through the atmosphere and heats the land of the continent. This heat from the sun can only penetrate the top layer of ground because the land is solid. This means that the land heats extremely quickly, but that very little of this heat is stored because only the top few centimeters receive any of this heat. The ocean, on the other hand, is transparent. This means the sun's rays can penetrate the water to a greater depth and therefore heat stores to a greater depth. Because air over the land heats very quickly, and especially in summer, temperatures climb fast and can often go well into the 30s, obviously depending on where you are. Therefore, in summer, when the temperatures rise quickly over the land, the air over the oceans, which is cooler because the ocean heats more slowly, blows over the land, preventing the coastal temperatures from rising too high. One of the main reasons coastlines around the world, especially those that are nearer to the tropics, are not permanently scorching hot during the day, is because the ocean currents that flow past them moderate their temperatures and cool them. In winter, the opposite process occurs. Because the land loses its heat very quickly, the air over the land cools quickly as well. The oceans, however, have lots of heat stored, which causes the air over the oceans to remain relatively warm. This warm air then flows over the land and warms the coastal temperatures and prevents them from getting too cold. Let's look at this concept with a real life example. The two cities we are going to examine are Kimberley and Durban in South Africa. Durban is along South Africa's east coast and sits along the warm Indian Ocean. Durban's average summer temperature is around 26 degrees Celsius and its average winter temperature is around 18 degrees Celsius. Kimberley, on the other hand, is 620 kilometers inland from Durban and has no ocean anywhere near it to moderate its temperature. As a result, its summer averages are much higher than Durban's at 31 degrees and its winters are much lower than Durban's or much colder than Durban's at 12 degrees. The key here is to look at the seasonal temperature ranges. Durban's temperature range is about 8 degrees Celsius between summer and winter because it is moderated by the ocean. Kimberley's temperature range is about 19 degrees Celsius, more than double Durban's. We can clearly see here how Durban's temperatures are far more mild and Kimberley's temperatures are far more extreme due to Durban's closeness to the ocean and Kimberley's distance from the ocean. Before we end, let's quickly summarize what we have learned. Firstly, we learned that land warms faster than water because land is solid and opaque and water is transparent, allowing for deeper heating and deeper heat storage. Secondly, we learned oceans moderate coastal temperatures because of this heating difference. And finally, we learned that places far away from coastlines have much hotter summers and much colder winters because there is no ocean to moderate temperatures there. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it enjoyable and educational. 